I think more than six, 15 years uh, in the technology. So that's need a really, really good passion uh, to work in the development side because uh, without interest, that would not be possible, right? Yes, for sure. Without interest, if you don't have interest, it can make it very challenging for you to stay in this right. field and to be up to date with the market. Yeah. So in your opinion, uh, what makes a development or developer effective or successful? Because uh, you have worked in a uh, long period, so you must have some, uh, you have to put some ideas on that, that how a developer can become effective. Yeah, okay, how a developer can be effective. The first is the most important is that he has to know that how to write a clean and neat code, right? With all the exception handling, that's the, the basic, basic thing, right? Because no one, not everyone can write a clean and neat code that other developer can understand, the other developer can easy to debug, right? If there is any issues with the code. So that is the first thing. The second is your code has to be thorough. What does that mean is if you are writing a code for a specific, for solving a specific problem, you have to think from all the different angles, right? All the different scenarios, including the edge cases, because most of the developers, they actually always miss the edge cases. So you have to, um, before you start developing, you have to consider all the different scenarios and do, then you plan for it, how you are going to write the code. And, um, after that, I would suggest that uh, um, you should be familiar with the, all the design patterns, right? Because we have design patterns in the market that can solve a common problem. So instead of instead of rebuilding your own uh, solution for a specific problem where the solution is already available, you should be familiar with the design patterns. That is another thing. And um, what else I can think about is, um, if you don't know how to, uh, if you are not familiar with the technology, right? For example, it could be technology or language. And uh, uh, you don't know the, all the features as well as the pros and cons of the technology. So it would be difficult for you to actually use the features of that specific programming language and build a nice and clean code, right? Like with all the features to make it easily, um, you know, like to extend it further, right? And the next is if you have to think from the perspective of how you can make the code re reusable, right? It shouldn't be like you are writing in each and every pieces and you are like, if there is any defect on it and you are just updating all the different places, right? So that won't uh, consider a nice code. And another thing is uh, related to this is uh, it should be loosely coupled, right? Like if you are making a changes on one of the place, it shouldn't impact or break the existing functionality. So I hope I haven't missed anything. So. <laughs>